Hello my friends and welcome to the FM22 Beta Save with Chelsea. This is episode 2. Uh, I might have introduced this as FM21 last time. Out of habit. That's slightly embarrassing. Um, however, if you are new, please hit the subscribe button if you are enjoying this content. The uh, plan is to be almost daily through the beta and then with the new series which I'll announce in due course during uh, the run of the beta uh, still to come. Uh, that might not be daily. There might not be a video tomorrow, however, because uh, basically I have a two hour window to get two videos recorded. I didn't think I was going to get either done, but, but we've managed to do that. Um, I decided to do Everton rather than Via Real as the first game because it's a competitive game. I'm not counting the Super Cup as a competitive game. So I'm just showing you the friendlies just now. The assistant tends to run all the friendlies, but as you can see, only one sort of blip, which was a draw against Sturm Graz. Uh, we did beat Villarreal in that Super Cup. Uh, Lukaku getting a penalty and Mason Mount scoring off the bench was a very, very rotated side. However, uh, you will see there, there is a player that we have signed. There's two signings to go through, so we will go into them. Uh, one for the future, one for the now, but we'll go with the outs first. We managed to get rid of a couple of players on loan, George McKerdon and Lewis Baker away to Barrow and Coventry respectively. We've got Ruben Loftus cheek away in Newcastle for five million pounds, give or take. It's 150 grand off the wage budget for a player who, let's be honest, is never going to play for us. He might go to Newcastle and do a job for a couple of seasons until their sort of money starts to really, really filter in. Um, and Charlie Masonda again, four grand off the wage bill. He's away to AZ Alkmaar in the Eredivisie, a player who's nowhere near first team level and never will be. Um, I'm amazed he's still at Chelsea to be honest with you. Um, on the end, we brought in Gareth Bale, 5.75 million. Is he an outstanding player? Of course not. He's 32. He's a bit beyond his prime. But that right wing was an area that I flagged as a bit of an issue depth wise. We had um, Hudson Adoy that could play there. We also had. My brain has froze. Who have I got starting as my right winger? Ziyech. But I thought bringing Bale in add something a little bit different. Um, you know, he is on a big wage, probably a bit more than what I'd want to spend realistically on a squad player. But I just don't think you can turn down players of this kind of quality for five, six million pounds. So Gareth Bale is our sort of main signing. And I brought in a favourite of mine, Nathan Patterson. You'll know him from last year if you have followed the channel before. If you don't, then this is Nathan Patterson. He's had a bit of a downgrade from last year, uh, current ability-wise, by the looks of it, despite the fact he's now Scotland International. But that seems to be the case across the board on a lot of players that I've had a look at so far that I know I used last year that don't look quite as good as they did last year. So I wonder if there's just a full P, uh, current ability reduction across the board this year. Um, but he is a player for the future. We had to sign uh, prospects. 22-year-old uh, and under. Nathan Patterson fits that bill perfectly. He's got four-star potential for us, so as you see, only Reese James higher potential at right back than him. Um, and hopefully that does indeed uh, see same players for under 22 for the future. And if we have a look at our transfer activity, it's a C, it's a C um, from the board. They're content. They're disappointed with Gareth Bale, but down in the wage, but hey ho. They're content with Lost This Cheek. Um, they're okay with Masunda. Um, and they're content with the loan out of Lewis Baker. It's not giving me the other loan for whatever reason of George um, what do you call him? But that's the deals with um transfers in. The staff is where we've been busiest. Uh, I didn't mean to click that, but apparently we have players coming in and out. Uh, so staff's over business, as you see, a lot out. Tuchel, Hilaro, Russell, Burrows, Burnley, a bunch of scouts so far. So I focused on the positions that are very, very easy to sort of adjust. On the ends, we've got David Mills as a scout, very, very good. We've got this guy as a fitness coach, uh, Anthony Colbert. I've used him in the past. He's solid. We've got this guy as an under-18s coach. I didn't mean to accept him, but he's actually not half bad, let's be honest. We've got Alex Brunner coming in. He is a goalkeeping coach. At uh, the first team, we've got another scout from Inter who looks unbelievable. We've got this scout who looks ridiculous. 
Uh, we've got another goalkeeping coach also coming in from Antwerp who looks just about perfect. You know, he's not far off. We've got Sodden coming in as another scout. Uh, Grobe as another scout. Martin as a scout. Um, Giavardi as a scout. Warren Basser as a scout. And Massimo Neri, another fitness coach I've used in the past. He's decent. Um, fitness coaches were difficult. Every There was two or three that are absolutely outstanding. But every time I tried to negotiate them uh, with them, they accepted the new contract for their current clubs. So we didn't quite get a couple of the fitness coaches I wanted to get. Um, I will continue to work the staff, but as I say, I've got very limited time just now. So I was doing you know, the easy uh, switching and outs, if you like, at the minute. Um, and over time, over the course of the season, excuse me, I am a bit tired, um, I will get in the rest of the coaching team. So, let's get into our game. I'll see you pitch side. Here we are, boys and girls, if you're watching. Uh, we've got nine changes from that Super League match. As I said, it wasn't an ideal fixture preparation for this game. Uh, I played a very rotated side for that reason. Areas where we're not blessed in depth, a right back and striker, we had some issues. Um, mostly because Werner played out on the left. Uh, so, Rhys James and Lukaku are not as fit as I would necessarily like. But, you know, it's not too big an issue. Uh, it's fine. The bench is also struggling for fitness, but again, shouldn't be too much of an issue. I just gave the wrong team talk for the defenders there, but it's it's worked out, it's worked out. Uh, we're getting into this game. We're playing Everton. Obviously, a fairly solid side, Everton. My scouts have absolutely loved some of these Everton players um, when they have came to them, so hopefully we can do something. The tactics, I'm not convinced are as good as what they were for me last year, as Lukaku opens a score in six minutes in against his former club, of course. Uh, had well, a loan spell and then a permanent spell at Everton. It made them a fair amount of money as well, did Lukaku. But I, I'm reserving judgment on the tactic just now because one, we used a reserve team against a good Villarreal team, two, it wasn't a competitive game and three, you know, it's one of, excuse me guys, I'm normally napping at this time but as I say this is the time that I have to record uh, at the minute with the game's release date so I'm kind of stuck um, if I want to get content out is Lukaku, it's in again, so 2-0. Brace from Romelu Lukaku. Yeah, this tactic is one of three or four variations of it that I have used. Um, it's the one that I found was the strongest against humans, but the weakest against the AI, as crazy as that might sound. Um, just the way that it works, the certain positions. But overall, I'm content. Um, you know, we're doing well, as that's 3 0 after Lequeta inside 13 minutes. By the way, we are 3 0 up. Aspilly Quetta playing centre back today because Thiago Silva is just knackers. Um, uh, so is Christensen. And I decided to go with Dave, basically. And he's rewarded me with a goal 13 minutes in and 3 0 up. 1.5 XG. That seems a bit harsh given the chances. I would have said that it was a bit higher than that, you know, two big chances for Lukaku and then an open goal for Aspilicueta, so the XG doesn't look like it's been tweaked. Might be wrong. Of course, this is still the beta, so things can change. Um, Rhys James with the throw in, it's poor. Kante, poor. Uh, Kante does what Kante does, though, and goes and gets the ball back. A poor ball in, or a poor shot, rather, from Havert. It deflects, Jorginho recovers. Marcus Alonso flicks in. Pulisic knocks away. Dekuri. Richarlison, Aspilicueta and Rudiger not really working in tandem there. Both of them going for the same ball. Havertz in behind. Lukaku is on a hat trick. Oh. Oh. Reese James, Kante, Havertz. Come on, son. Lukaku. Re uh, Reese James, he's won a penalty. He's going to VAR. I don't think VAR should be overturning that one. I don't think VAR should be overturning that one. Penalty awarded. Get in. 
Lukaku with his 20 penalties. He scored a penalty in the last game for his hat-trick. There you go. First half hat-trick for Romelu Lukaku. Hope you boys let him in your fantasy team for this week, game week, because he is on absolute fire. Rifled into the back of the net. Going for the opposite corner is what he did in the last game, which is just something to know. But 3-0 at half time. Uh, very happy with how this is going, boys. Sorry, 3-0. 4-0 at half time, rather. Keep it up, boys. Keep it up. I know it's a home game, it's against everyone. We should be winning this. I didn't expect a performance quite this strong, though. Holgate out to Allen. I will be. Whipped over the cross for a DCL to chase. And Mendy will just collect it quite easily. Dave brings it out of defence. Showing that he cannot run anymore. Back to Dave. Jorginho. I'm not going to call him Dave. All the time. Believe me. Um, it's in behind. It's ZH. And that's a red. Luca Dean's off. Whose name I would never be able to pronounce if it wasn't for Limo, by the way. So go check out Limo. Um, I think he'll be streaming tonight. Probably at Pro Clubs, I think. Uh, which I might be a part of. So Twitch TV forward slash Limo 57 go and check him out after this video of course and give us lots of love is that another penalty no penalty this time it's a free kick we're going to make some changes we are going to bring on Mason um, in fact no or bring on Mason Mount we'll bring on Hudson Adoy for Pulisic one he's on a yellow two let's give him a rest Reese James has ran a race and a half so I don't really want to bring you off for Aspilicueta to go to right back, but hey ho, I don't see many other options here. I'm bar promoting Nathan Patterson from the under 23s, which I'm not quite ready to do yet. Lukaku for Werner, we'll do it. Give him his round of applause. And a well earned rest. He's obviously played 90 minutes in the previous game just a few days ago. Hudson Adoy whipped a crop. That was whipped a crop. Whipped across Canty. It was apparently saved, but it gave a goal kick, so it might hit the post. I don't know. It looked safe to me. But, you know, average second half, strong first half, barely conceded a shot to Everton here. Positive things all around. We've still got money to spend. I might go and get a right back. I might go and get a right back. We're top of the league on goal difference over Liverpool. And Spurs and Wolves also getting a win alongside Aston Villa. Of course, lots of other games still to go because it's the Premier League. And not every game is on a Saturday like I'm used to in Scotland. Although just now, just about every game is on a Sunday up here. So, you know, is what it is. We're going to praise Lukaku. We're going to give him a handshake. Pleased. I'm very, very pleased. Uh, Schedule-wise, we will come back, I guess, for Burnley. Um, purely because there might be a Champions League game about here I'll pick instead but we'll be Burnley on a Champions League game purely because that's when the transfer window shuts uh, I think that's a good place to bring it back uh, so if guys if you've enjoyed this episode smash the like button Limo I'm sorry for battering Everton but things have to be done love you man um, and I'll hopefully catch you all next time